Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio, and welcome back to your 20th Java programming tutorial. Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, I've been recording all these videos in HD. I think it's 720p. So if you guys are having trouble uh, seeing the words or whatever, uh, just go and change the settings to 720. And I recommend that you put it into full screen uh, because then you'll get the best quality you can get because I'm recording my whole screen right now. And when you guys are watching it on YouTube, it compresses the screen down and it makes it look kind of pixelated. So if you guys are having problems with that, just put it into full screen and you can watch my video in like amazing high, high definition. So yeah, just putting that out there. Uh, but today we're going to be learning about arrays. Now arrays are basically variables that can hold many, um, many values in them. So before we could have a variable that held one value, but an array can hold many different values. So it could hold, let's say, 50 names instead of holding only one. So it's a really, really useful thing in programming. We use it a lot. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. And you could use any type of variable you want for an array. So you could use a string array, you could use an integer array, array boolean array, whatever you want. So we're going to be using a string today, and I'm going to be storing a bunch of names in one array. So to make an array, let's just labeled as a string because we're going to be putting strings in there. Um, we'll just call it names. And now to indicate that we want to make it an array, we have to use square brackets. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to initialize this array. So we're going to set it to equal to new string. And then one more thing that's a little bit different is we're going to have to put another pair of square brackets. And then in here, we're going to want to put the number of elements that we want in our array. All that elements are, are basically values. So Anthony would be an element, Bob would be an element, etc. So let's have five elements for this array. Now we have just basically allocated memory. We've basically taken memory in our computer to uh, store names in it. So now we want to set uh, these five variables or these five elements, um, some values. So let's go names. And then this is called an ID. So your first ID of every single array is always zero. It starts at zero because I don't know, computers like zero. I don't get it. Well, I do get it, but yeah, it just starts at zero. Just deal with it. So let's set it equal to Anthony. So the only thing different is it starts off at zero instead of one. Uh, yeah, and then if we want to set the next one, we would set names one equal to let's go Bob. And I'm gonna copy this because I'm too lazy to do the rest. <clears throat> Three. Oh, that should be two. Can't count. Uh, four. So as you can see, we have um, five elements that are gonna store different names. What's another name? Sam. Um, so yeah, now we have five different names stored in one array. And we call each one of these variables elements. And these things right here are called indexes. This is basically how you reference a certain very a certain element in an array. So let's say we wanted to print out um, Anthony. We would go names and then uh, we have to reference it by its ID. So in square brackets, we put zero. Let's run this thing. And as you can see, we get Anthony down here. <clears throat> so what if we added names five and we set it equal to um, element five or something? And semicolon. And then we tried to call it. If we run this, we get an error. It's called an array index out of bounds exception. Basically, this is just a fancy term for saying that uh, you said you wanted to to make to allocate enough memory for five elements, but you just use six elements. So right here, we would have to change this to a six, and then if we ran it, then we get element five because we have enough room in memory to have that fifth element. Um, or that sixth element, sorry. 
Um, so yeah, it's a little confusing. Your ID will only go up to five, but you actually have six elements. This is because it starts off at zero. So uh, practice this, and um, I'll go over some more complicated stuff in the next tutorial. I don't want to overwhelm you guys too much in this tutorial. So uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.